So as usual, I'll link everything that I have in the description. I'll also link all the tools that I use. So broker, scanner, charts, and newsfeed. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the desktop. I do have the same one as before. So it's the HP Omen 25L. The only thing I did to this computer out of the box is just upgrade the RAM to 32 gigs because 16 is just not enough when you're running everything. It gets laggy and you're always at like the top of the performance and i did upgrade the fan so everything costs like 200 bucks to do the upgrade and this computer has been really good so when it comes to the connection i'm running one gigabyte download and one gigabyte upload and i'm plugged with an ethernet cable i did try to just run off wi-fi and i do find a massive difference at the open whenever all the market data is trying to come in so when it comes to the most important part of the setup it's honestly the chair I really like this chair and I'm someone with like so much back problems since I'm really young. So I tried many different cheap chair and honestly, it just wasn't worth it because you're paying two, 300 bucks for a chair. Next thing you know, you just have to sell it or return it. I paid this one somewhere around two grand Canadian. So it's about, I guess, 1600 US and it's a game changer. No more chiropractor or anything like that. It's just super comfortable and I'm not a big fan of trading and standing up. I really like to sit down when I trade. So having a good chair when you're spending a lot of time, it's really nice and I really, really enjoy. The only thing that I would do to this chair to make it better is you can upgrade to a headrest and then it would support also your neck. It's probably something I'm gonna do but it's an extra like 300 bucks and I'm not sure I really wanna spend that at the moment. So now let's talk about something that I just upgraded a few weeks ago and this is a new keyboard. So it's a Logitech G915. It's honestly a really expensive keyboard, but it's worth it. Like the quality of built, it's super, super nice. And something that I absolutely wanted was these little buttons over here. This makes such a difference because you can add yourself some really cool hotkeys just with this instead of having like a stream deck or something like that with like an extra stuff on your desk, you can just add it on this. Something that's also nice is it's not too loud. It's a nice clicky sound. It's mechanical, so it's solid because I used to have a Logitech MX keys but it's a keyboard that's really good for working, but if you're smacking your hotkeys and sometimes you get a bit mad, you might break it, which I did. So I upgraded to this one and it's actually amazing. It's wireless, but it has this little dongle that it comes with to make it a faster connection. So there's no delay. And also whenever you're not touching it for a while, it doesn't go to sleep or it does, but it's really instant when you're clicking on something. So you don't have to be worried about your keyboard kind of shutting off if you're not touching it for a while. It's always ready to go and I really enjoy it. When it comes to the mouse, I did go with a wired mouse and it's a Logitech G502 Hero. Really nice mouse. You can also control the weight to have a better balance in it. And this is wired. The reason why is really because this is wireless. So if ever there's an issue with connection, I wanna make sure I can actually use this mouse to click out of a position or something like that. And it's really nice also, it kind of match with the color. It's not too RGB color like a gamer or anything like that. So it's very nice. So the last thing on this desk is just this mat over here. Um, I had this for a few years. Uh, I wasn't using it, but I started to use it just because it's more comfortable for your wrist. And also it's just better than just having a mouse pad. It just covers more space, more comfortable. It looks pretty nice and also I just like it because I had it, to be honest. If I wouldn't have it, I don't think I would buy it, but it's there and I'm using it. I'm pretty happy with it. So when it comes to the desk, I'm still using the IKEA desk. It's a really, really cheap desk and I absolutely hate it. I really don't want to keep it, but connecting or remounting everything is just such a pain in the ass that I didn't change it yet, but I will actually buy one that's actually real wood and I should be getting it very shortly. So I'm pretty excited about that. I would not recommend this desk just because I used to have the four monitor mounted, which is still what I prefer with these monitor, but it's really shaky and the desk is literally gonna break. So I don't like this and I don't wanna just, you know, break everything and lose all this money for nothing. So I'm gonna keep on running the vertical monitor because I don't need to have the mounts really, really high, but this desk is gonna be changing. And also the legs, I'm still using the Prime Cable Dual Motors. I'm gonna be changing them because they're leaking oil and I just don't want my desk to just fall apart. So this is gonna be changing. So while we're here, uh, when it comes to the audio, I have this little sound card external. It's pretty nice if you connect the mic and you make YouTube video like I do sometimes. And also it's good to have your earphones or your headphones connected. So now let's talk about these monitors. So I had them for about two years now and 
One of them sometimes loses color. So, I mean, like, it's kind of normal. I move them so much around. I move from three places with these monitors. And uh, at this point, I do feel a little bit of a change. So there the 27 inch 2K monitor ASUS Pro Art. I really enjoy them, but the only thing that really bothers me, it's these um, over here. Like it's very small if you put them vertical. And I really do like the vertical just because it's more like symmetrical. When you look at it, instead of having like monitors all at different places, but they're just not wide enough and it's kind of annoying. And I really, really wish to be honest that like these monitor would just to be a little bit wider and it would be perfect because i know the 32 inch i'm gonna start complaining because they're gonna be too high um, and i'm not gonna enjoy really having everything at the top but i'm gonna put everything that's useless at the top so now when it comes to mounting all these monitors these one are actually on the standard mount but i, I tried these new vertical mount over here and they're actually pretty nice and they're pretty solid so they're the Yuano or something like that, but they're really heavy duty and I really enjoy them. And what's nice is if I put the camera behind it, I can just over here kind of record a video like this and just like showing my screen. And after that, when I'm back and just going to trading, I'm just gonna move them back over here and like nothing happened. And this is a big deal because I don't want YouTube to get in the way of my trading. I wanna make sure I have the best flow of work as possible. And I think it really helps with that. And also that's why I'm gonna go with the vertical monitor so when it comes to the software that i'm using right now i'm using e-signal for charts it's really expensive and i honestly don't think they're that great when it comes to chart or anything like that the only feature that i really need every time i cancel my subscription is just the historical data i just find it so useful that you can just click and then go back four years before or 10 years before and look at the intraday chart no other charting software is able to do that that nicely so i'm stuck paying with it even if i hate it but just the cost of doing business so when it comes to this side over here i'm using trade ideas as a scanner it's a really good scanner but there's also something that no other software can do is create your own formulas so if you know exactly what you want to see or you did a bit of programming before you can go ahead and seek this specific information to only show what you really want to see without having to go through the basic setting that just everybody look at. You can be more specific with your strategy and no other scanner allows you to do this. They all have those basic filters that you can choose from, but sometimes you can scan for certain things or certain things that are very specific to you. And there's also this feature that's really nice with Trade Ideas that you can actually link your scanner with your charts. So that means if you click on a ticker on your scanner, it's going to load it on your charting software of choice. You can link it to like TradingView or other platform. I am think you can actually link it to pretty much any platform. So it's really, really nice. And it's also unique to their scanner compared to other scanners out there. So that's why I think it's worth it compared to most scanners that are kind of just missing those extra, extra features. So when it comes to the level two, I'm still using Sterling. I think it's pretty much the best software that retail trader can get. If you're more of a swing trader, investor, probably just using the TWS platform from IBKR is gonna do the job good enough. If you're really a swing trader, I don't see the benefit of using something like Sterling because it's more for order execution and being fast with your order management and all that stuff. So if you're more of a passive trader investor, probably not worth it. But if you're really active, definitely worth it. So now moving to the top of this monitor, I'm still using its Benzinga for news. I've been using them for so long now. I'm just used to it and it's a good news feed whatsoever. I don't really like what they do with their marketing and bringing scammer on to do kind of interview. But really when it comes just to their software part, it's actually pretty good. 